everyone, Ibsum here, welcome back to episode 32 of Ribsum's Universe. And today guys, what we're going to be doing is, we're going to work on the villager area, iron golem farm thing, and like last episode, I said I wanted to work on these, and I did. So, ooh, we got a nice visitor in here. Uh, oh, oh, he hit me too. And, um... Essentially, I've been uh, working off camera in between episodes in particular, uh, working on this thing. And, uh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, that was close. Um, they do tend to slide uh, uh, very easily, I have to say. Let me just uh, adjust this guy, put him like over here. Alright. Alright, there you go. And let's get out of here really quick. Let me just showcase what I have so far. So over here, same principle. I got a little chair area here. And uh, the boats as well. Put melons, start putting melons more. And it looks really, really good. Um, if you guys have any more suggestions in terms of making it more green, like maybe, I think I might put leaves on the floor at some points. Not too much, but you know, leaves might do the trick. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be doing that, I guess. So, um, you may notice there's a, a missing uh, leaf there. I actually broke it when I was breaking the sugar cane right here to get more to replant. And I accidentally broke that. But that's okay. Uh, what else have we been doing? Oh, yeah, something in the base I have to showcase. And um, before you get to the villager area, I have to tell you what happened to it first. But um, as well, I made a area over there. Uh, just had some... Uh, just melons over here. I want to make a automated melon farm by using a piston. But that does not work. Um, I thought it would be easier, but it isn't. And I used kind of smart redstone for a button here. This block would power that block, and that would power the piston. Just so it's not like a million wires. And this uh, pressure plate directly powers the piston. Uh, so, yeah guys, it didn't work, so... You know, I'll, I'll collect the pistons later, I guess. Uh, other than that, um, what else is there? Um, hmm. I changed this to quartz. And it's actually pretty easy to break, uh, you know, in terms of your fist. This is not really a hard block, you see what I mean? And, um, I know this is our stash right here. And, unfortunately, the reason I don't convert it all to blocks of quartz, like, um, you only need four to make it a block like this um, the the block of quartz uh, it doesn't actually become quartz again so once you make a block of quartz you can't make another quartz because another quartz is used in a lot of recipes now like the comparators and all that all that stuff so if you if I were to uh, convert all of them to these blocks they will not be able they're unconvertible is really what I'm trying to say so yeah um, it's kind of a one-way thing, but um, what do we have here? Well, they're starting to breed, and I extended this, and I made a little pathway using that little trick from my fireworks tutorial. Uh, if you remember that, um, mobs cannot uh, pathfind uh, like this. They have to, like, they can't move diagonally, essentially, and I'm taking advantage of that, so, like, uh, they cannot... Uh, come up here and infiltrate my villager. I also enchanted two axes here, which I will need to cut down those. Also, uh, yeah, just extended the doors and it's working now. And this guy, oh my god, this guy. Look at all these trades. Like, we got, like, almost a full suit right here of leather, but, um, I've been kind of wasting a ton of emeralds, uh, thinking that, um, he will get rid of the boots trade, which is the last one. And it turns out he doesn't. So I have two stacks profit right now. Um, I'll show you like what happened to my coal stash over here. Like it's almost gone actually, uh, in terms of me mining all of it. Oh, so that's the rest of it. And um, if we go in here, I started depositing it because uh, I had no more space. But we have a lot more leather uh, pants than we do with uh, leather tunics and look all these boots uh, so think about this for each boot that you see here minus four wasted three emeralds on uh 
I didn't know that, um, I'm assuming this is correct, unless it just got the highest frequency of trading enabled on that trade, but I traded so much with that guy, and he is not getting rid of that last trade. So what I was thinking, if we got one of these guys to sell cold on their last, last trade, it would be infinite. And, uh... With that in mind, I'm going to experiment. I'll make a tutorial video slash thing later where I will test this and we'll get into the logistics of this experiment and um, I'll walk you through it. And also, there was a comment by UCC Dog, which we'll get into later in the episode, that wanted me to talk about uh, like what's my viewpoint on the Iron Golden Farm, and I'll explain that, I guess. And, um,. Yeah, we'll, we'll be doing that later this episode, but yesterday, I think all day, I was playing FTB, just straight up all day. Um, it was so much fun. Uh, I didn't even get anything recorded, but there's so much items I have now. I, like, renamed my entire tool set, so, like, when I do this, um, it'll say, like, wh what I want it to say kind of thing. And it's just absolutely awesome. Um, is there anything else? I mean... There's a few things I need to still shape up in this world. Um, I'm actually uh, quite surprised uh, of how much work we did but didn't do. Now, we did a lot of work in terms of big projects, but we didn't do a lot in terms of aesthetical work. Like, like there's so much plain things right here. But, uh, yeah, it, it still shaped up pretty nicely. And I almost died. Uh-uh. Well, yeah, guys, um, I'll get, uh, everything sorted here, and this is my looting sword. I'll get everything sorted really quick, we'll see what we could do, and, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you back in a bit. Alright, guys, really quick, I just want to update you on, um, what I'm going to do this episode. We're going to hold off from the Iron Golem project, because simply, uh, I need to contemplate about where I'm going to put this area, because it's a 20 by 20 area in which it uh, uses so it's something pretty big and 20 by 20 is essentially like from where my mouse cursor is to there it's uh, exactly half the size of this uh, spawn area and for that to be in the air is kinda ugly so what I had in mind is we're only gonna build two of these uh, villages and they're going to be stacked on top of each other. Not exactly. I'll, I'll get into the logistics of how to build it in a later episode when I'm actually building it. So no need to worry, guys. I'll let you guys know how to build one. I'll let you know uh, what you can and can do to increase efficiency. How to how does it uh, make it decrease in efficiency. And uh, I'll get into that later, I promise. It's just when I'm, I'm building it, I think it seems more... Um, appropriate one to actually talk about that matter. Now, for now, I'm actually going to go ahead and get started on another thing. So I'll see you then. Alrighty, guys, I know what I'm going to do this episode, and we're going to work on the nether spider. It's been put away for quite some time, and I thought about it, I was like, yeah, I should probably work on it. Also, um, I'm fully set here. We have furnaces to smelt netherrack. Everything we need to build it. I'm gonna try iron bars. This is for the comments. Uh, so we'll put that, that put that in there. Extra storage, which we could lay down now. And yeah, I came very prepared. I actually enchanted this armor, all level ones right here, and then I dyed it orange. Why not? You know. So yeah, let's get started now. Um, what can we do? All right, first let's try the iron bars. See how that looks. Um, like, uh, in terms of, is it going to, uh, look good? Is it going to, I think it is, uh, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring, um, maybe four stacks of iron bars here, and then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that, and I'll be right back after that. Alright, guys, I'm back. I thought we needed a lot more. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to anticipate that we're going to need a lot more than four stacks. So, I brought 38 iron blocks. We have only one stack left. And, ultimately, 
that's okay because we're gonna have the iron farm soon so wasting it on iron bars isn't an issue so it's something that we're definitely gonna have but we're just gonna have to wait a bit for let's make a workbench and let's get started on this so you're probably asking do I have certain plans for this uh, and the answer to that is no um, we're gonna build this blind because uh, it's a bit different than um, uh, the actual spider because we're not using leaves or anything like that so it's a bit different different in terms of that and I thought that was okay I mean uh, uh, wait one sec let's see I mean is that okay like that there's this one little peephole I think that might be cool uh, so we'll keep that for now I guess and right now I'm just walking you through the principle on how I'm building this. Uh, I won't keep this on camera forever because I know it gets boring. So let me just uh, use these iron bars to pillar up. Actually quite difficult to use to pillar up since they have smaller hitboxes than a regular block. Um, yeah, so essentially that's what we're going to be doing. And I think it's going to look awesome. Uh, so... We'll keep in mind uh, all the materials we're using in this build, and I mean, I I know I was being like really uh really cheap in terms of just iron. I know like and diamonds, you know. But uh, once the quadrant's done, guys, I calculated uh quite roughly the amount of diamond ore that is expected to come out of that, and what's cool about this is that's an average so we could get even more or less and you know obviously we want more from it and it's it could happen so quite roughly we could get four to five stacks of diamond ore converted from fortune 3 would result in almost two stacks of diamond blocks like that that would be the other other max uh, though uh, I don't think we'll get that much, but, you know, think about it, 128 times 128 times 16 times 0.5 would probably give you about how much, um, I think uh, we'll just assume, oh, you know what, I'm going to go do the math, I'll go look on the wiki, see how much it will spawn per chunk, yeah, I'll be right back, guys, really quick. Alright guys, I apologize for all the math that I've been doing lately in my episodes, but honestly to me it's very interesting, and what I'm about to tell you is very interesting if you guys like diamonds. Now, there is 1,024 chunks in the quadrant, One, uh, and you get that by doing 128 times 128, which will result in the surface area of... Uh, the quadrant and then you divide that by 16 because uh, a chunk is 16 by 16 and that results in 1024 now on the minecraft wiki an average diamond the average diamonds found in one chunk is three just the average so using that I am able to make this calculation now the calculation oh one sec um, this one's uh, this one's live this math problem thing I'm doing this on live like as I'm building. I'm trying not to look at my paper, but I got to. Oh, uh, sorry. So, you do 1024 times 3 to get the average, and that is 3072 diamond ore. Now, let's say for to use fortune, on average, uh I think you'd yield 2. Let's just say like on average we got 2. Now, quite frankly, we could get um like what like four every single time we mine a diamond ore but we're just gonna say on average we're gonna get two from each of like after mining all of them and using that I made this calculation and what you do with that is you do 3072 times two and that gives you 6144 diamonds that's a lot of diamonds um, so how many chests is that? How many diamond blocks is that? Well, I, I wrote all of that down. So, to know how much chest that is, a single chest holds 27 slots of 64. 
and diamonds are stacked up to 64 and 27 plus 27 is 54 we're using double chest and you do 54 times 64 to get how much um a, a double chest could fill up in stacks of 64. That number is 3,456. The amount of diamonds we're expected is 6,144. So we're already getting a double chest guaranteed right here with this calculation. In fact, two double chests is 6,912. Whoa, 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 I wasn't looking at my screen. There we go. Oh, whew. Oh, let's see what we got here. Alright, just a few experience orbs, nothing crazy. But I didn't think he was that close, wow. Alright, well, let's continue. Alright, so 6,912 is two double chests. Uh, so four regular chests, two of these guys. Um, now, to get the total number of diamond blocks, it's six, 682, and how you get that is uh, you take the 6144, 6144 uh, diamond, uh, and you divide it by 9, uh, resulting in 682. And why do we divide it by 9? And it takes 9 diamonds to create a diamond block. So, 682, and what's about to mind blow you is this. Uh, let me get an empty chest really quick. Alrighty. Okay, so with one chest, imagine that is all 64 diamond blocks. So that would be 682, and there would be like, what, 48 right here left over because it was like a decimal. So that wouldn't be a full stack, but it would be there. That's how much. Like, imagine each of these stone brick is 64 diamond blocks. Yeah, that's a lot of diamond. I wouldn't. Oh my god, that is just so mind blowing. But the the thing is, you probably don't believe me, but let me let me take a look. Let me show you guys why you would believe me. The math here is correct. It is actually correct. Um, I'm not contradicting myself. It's actually, this is actually quite simple math. Uh, but some people are like, no way you could get that much. Well, I, let me just show you how big the quadrants are, and I'll I'll let it load. Oh my god. Ooh, so scary, man. He's gas. Here, I'll, I'll let the world load over there in a bit, and let me see if he dropped a gas here. Yes, he did. Alrighty. Um, so I'll see you there in the quadrant. Alright, guys, I think it's pretty much loaded. It still has to do a little bit there, but take a look. From here all the way down here is where w it stops a bit. And that would be right there, where that 2x2 two two pillar, or 2x1 pillar right there, is where it stops from all the way down there. Now, if we go over here, we could go, it's like somewhere down here is where it ends. Like, uh, it'll be represented by a pillar as well, I'm pretty sure. And essentially, guys, it's pretty, pretty insane. Uh, this is going to take so long to mine out, but you could tell it is so worth it. Uh, you can barely see the beacon light because it's almost about to be in unloaded chunks. But this is such a large area, guys. The surface area, man, it is just so large. So, like, one layer. I've been doing a ton of mining, as you can see, like, with the statistics, which is very helpful. Soon we'll see, like, one million here and stuff like that, which will be so cool. And as you can see, like, that's a lot of blocks to mine. And it's just, it's a pretty simple procedure in terms of uh, using a shovel. But other than that, it's pretty crazy. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and get working on the nether quadrant, or the nether spider. And I'll update you on that. So I'll see you then. Alright guys, I am back here working aimlessly. And I finished a good majority of it. All the sides are finished but this one. And I think that's okay. I don't want to use... Um, my last stack of iron blocks, but uh, yeah, I used all of my iron blocks, the 38 on this, and it's still not done. So it it is a pretty um pretty expensive project, but it does look really cool, and especially in the inside, you're protected. And there's so much pigment that I'm gonna have to kill now. 
All right, we have looting. All right, let's do it. We'll anger one and they just all come flooding. All right. All right, more should follow. Of course, I feel. Oh man, that is... There's a lot of them. Whew. Ah. <laughs> I just paused, I don't know why. Oh man, I died. Jeez. Alright, I'll get my stuff in, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, I'm back here and... He picked up everything. Well, this one guy. So that's that's really good actually. Um, so it didn't fall in the lava. Instead, he picked it up, and I could, I could kill him later. But yeah, this isn't working out too well for me. What do I have? I'll ju I'll just use my other sword, and I'll just take him out really quick, I guess. And yeah, um, guess I'll be doing that one. Oh, my mouse. Um. Huh. We'll take one of these. I mean, these these uh, regen potions are useless, you know. I, I don't need them anytime soon. And if I'm going to kill a wither, when I do that, I'll probably have, like, the iron farm and everything ready. And, you know, we'll have beacons. And I'll just probably have a beacon for regeneration itself. So... I'll drink these once we get in, and we'll take them out on camera, I guess. These guys. Okay, one sec. I have to move something from my mouse pad. There we go. This is actually oranges. My mom made me some. Because she's very nice. Um, where'd it go? This way, right? And he hit me through that. That's that's fantastic. <gasps> How did I do? This is so ridiculous. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. This happened to me before, but I didn't lose anything. Oh, this is frustrating. I don't know. I just fell off. Well, I have to rewatch the footage, like how I initially just fell off, and then I got hit with fire. And then I think I died of fall damage, correct? Mm. Man, I need those feather falling boots at at stake. Uh, I'll get some like iron ones soon. I'll start uh, preparing for that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab that sword really quick. If they didn't take it, please don't take it. it should be here. I saw something. Oh no. Let me get the strength. There you go. Get my sword back. So I can take these guys out. Alright, should I take out the one with armor? Here, let's just only get him. There you go. Alright. Good thing uh, they don't. My armor doesn't get damaged when they're wearing it. At least in 1.4. Oh, uh, that happens. I don't know about now. These guys are not to be messed with. Jeez. They do a ton of damage that I did not anticipate. This guy's fire aspect. Man, look at all my items just, you know, spread out like this. Hmm. Let me try to get them up here, you know, I'm feeling a bit better now. Alright, we got rotten flesh to eat. And... I'll drink that fire resistance in a bit. Just, um... <laughs> I have a feeling one's gonna just come behind me. Watch, I'm, I'm predicting it. I 
no point. These guys are just all their items are gonna burn. Let's get these guys. <laughs> Did I get any enchanted ones? Oh no. There we go. Hmm. That is pretty crazy. I lost what? Huh, what did I lose? I can't calculate it. But I've been rambling here, you know, for a while now. Uh. So yeah, that's basically it for this episode. I'll get the comments ready, and I'll see you in a bit after I kill one of these guys, just because they killed me. Oh my god, it's going to happen again. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty guys, I'm back here with the comment, and this one is by UCC Dog, and he said, That is a ton of time to put into mining blocks. Thank goodness we have efficiency in the game. I don't think the whole idea of iron farm is cheaty. I've never done much with villagers. I just don't understand the mechanics behind how it works and how to build one with max efficiency. Looking forward to watching you build it. By UCC Dog once again. And yeah, uh, I will be explaining exactly how it works to my knowledge. Uh, and I think that would be good enough. And uh. I, I'm building it off a tutorial, but I do know, um, well, I know how to build it by now, but, um, I, I, you know, I'm using Doc M's design on how to build it and stuff, but I, I already know how to build it, because I built on the FTB server already, and, yeah, uh, all I gotta do, really, is, uh, set it up so that it's being used, and yeah, I died again, as you can see, so. Yeah, I'm not really expecting much of my items. Oh, okay. Well, we got them. 41 gold nuggets, jeez. So yeah, I'll be explaining how to build it, what, how to increase efficiency, how to decrease efficiency. All stuff like that, I'll be explaining exactly how to style kind of video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. My name's Zom, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Now, yes. <coughs> Ah, uh, before we go, I want to let you know about this villager because he wasn't around. He was actually a baby in the beginning of this episode. So let me see if I could right-click him. Oh, uh, turns out I can't. Um, I can't break one block because, well, actually I can for now. Uh, baby ones can actually run through here. So we have to be very, very careful. And it doesn't matter if we lose a dirt block. Um, so let's see what he has. So three emeralds for a bookshelf. Okay. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out now. <laughs>